And we are off. Curry makes a good start, followed by Sibo Yanev. We're going to spin the camera around to keep looking at what's going on. Are we all going to make it through, but Math on the grass all seems clear so far. Nope, there's two cars off. Let's have a look what happened from the start. So we are on board with, I think this is Antonis, I believe, and we're coming into turn one. We're all fine. Oh, we've tried to go through a gap. Oh, and the two Greek drivers, Antonis and Nikos, facing the wrong way. Not the best start for the two Greeks. This is the other view from Nikos Papamihano as we're coming down into turn one. Mark Harris in front of us, Chris Pinch, Pet, Gavin Utley. We're going to go to the outside. All is okay at the moment. You can see how oh, Stamatis goes off, loses it, and goes off. But Sebo now looking down the inside of Nick Curry. This is for the lead. Do we make it stick? No, we don't. And this is probably going to compromise Chris's run down to the hairpin. In fact, we're being attacked by Dimitar Yanev now, who's got a great run. And we're going to look down the inside. And we get down. So Seabed down to third. This damage on Chris's car. Can we see what happens? We're going down into heaven. That's Brian last. Oh, we lock up. We touch Brian. You can see that's where that damage comes from. Never mind. We continue. Back with Chris Bourne. Yenev actually down to third. Bath Harley, Steve Proudly. 11th, 12th. We've got the leaders from race one there. Morton, Mark. Chris Bourne having another little look at Nick. Dimitar sneaking down the inside. Oh, Dimitar actually looking like he's going to run wide. Yes, he does. Chris Bourne goes back through into second place. So we can see further down the field. Chris Pinch making that damage car. Mark Harris running wide a little bit there. And it's Neil McMath. But Nick Curry in the lead currently, building up quite a gap over. I think that's Mike Tanti in second. Indeed, it is. So Mike Tanti's got past Chris Bourne. Quite a few bent Porsches around. And we'll see. I think that's Brian Larson spins in the background. That action all through the field in this. Round four of the championship, round two here at Okayama. But now we're going to ride on board with Morton Vells, race one's winner. A nice little train of cars in front of us. Oh, Darrell runs wide. We say thank you very much. And I think Mark behind us has gone through. Yes, he has. Let's believe we're up into 10th and 11th position now. That's how close it is. That big field of Porsche streaming down to the hairpin. Lock up from Pinchbet. I think Utley's running to the back of Pinchbet. Oh, Morton takes evasive action. Mark has nowhere to go and unfortunately bumps into the back of him. But he lets him go back past. I think we're going to be able to see what happened there. So, coming down to the hairpin, on board with Mark Harris. Everything just bunched up very, very quickly. We break what we normally do, and Morton... Oh, he turns, and Mark just literally has nowhere to go. Another view from Chris Princhbeck here. We lock up, and Gavin runs into the back of Chris, and then Morton runs into the back of Gavin, and then Mark runs into the back of Morton. There's just nobody really for anywhere to go. No harm done, we keep going. Shuffle through the field, see what's going on. Mike Tanti still in second. We've got Chris Bourne just behind us in third. 
like in fact yes Matt Powney has got past Chris Bourne and Chris oh Chris Bourne Zebo runs wide Chris not out of the uh, in the thick of this but Zosti proudly runs wide at the last corner as well very very easy to do that Let's see what's going on with Neil McMath window all slightly smashed we've got Nikos behind us we've got Daryl Siv right to our left and that's Chris Bourne so Chris Bond starting second now in 12th place. So we go down to what I call the sort of mini hairpin. We're trying to look down the inside of Daryl Sivright. And late on the brakes we are. Whoa, what's going on behind us? Wow, bang! What on earth is... Maths off, Sivright's off, Nikos is off. John Dallin says thank you very much. Chris Bourne is off. So let's have another look what happened this television view this is this little gaggle of cars that we had all pretty orderly there Sivrat McMath Sivo and whoa I'm not really sure what happened ok let's have a look on board with Nikos Papa Mahal here he's the second to last of this group and whoa, whoa why are we going to break no no we're not going to break ok well, that's what happened. You make your own thoughts, guys. Not really sure what that was. Looking from Steve Proudly at the back, we just see Nikos just go straight down the inside. Chris Bourne loses it, I think, separately. We are on board with Chris. And Nikos comes down the inside. We, I think, lose it on the brakes as well. Hit Nikos. Well, yeah, that was a bit of a mess. But anyway, we carry on. These are our top few places. Top eight, marking eighth. Up behind that beautiful refreshes car of Gavin Utley, we're going to try and find a way past. That's six minutes into the race so far, so just under nine minutes left to go. a lot at the moment the drivers just kind of finding their feet mid-race Mike in second Matt Panny in fourth I think Sebo's given up unfortunately this seems to be the group where it's all happening with Steve Proudly Dimitar Yanev Chris Pinchbet here at the front of this group I think for sixth position we've got Morton Vells we've got Chris's pin Chris's team in front of us <coughs> excuse me Is Pinchbeck, Fells, Utley, Harris, Yanev, and Proudly. Yeah, Chris seems to be driving an extremely wide Porsche. Morton Bell struggling to get past. Mark Harris having a look at Gavin Utley. He's very, very close. I fit through the cameras. We're going to look down the inside into the hairpin. We keep it nice and tight. But we're going to be on the outside for the next one. Gavin Utley surely will keep this on the inside. Well, no, Mark's going to keep, try and keep it around the outside. He's still around the outside. Utley's still got the inside, but no, Mark, Mark goes around the outside and overtakes Gavin. I mean, beautiful outside pass. And that brings Mark Harris right up behind Morton Veld. So... The top few positions in the first race... Here we are on board with Gavin Utley, quick replay. See that red arrow, that's where Mark is. We think, well, yeah, we're going to have the inside line for this next corner, but obviously compromises our exit speed a little bit, and Mark gets the good run out of the corner. We're still on the inside, but no, Mark gets past. There we go. And we soldier on. So back with Morton Vells. Sixth and seventh position, Mark in eighth. That's our leading group just in front of us, but still, even after nearly 10 minutes of racing, quite a few Porsches all still on the same straight, but Darren Harley having a look down the inside of Sven Deutschmann for fourth. Not this time, Darren. Maybe next time. A little jump across the grass. 
was weaving all over the back of Sven, and like, let me pass, let me pass, but Sven's like, no, you're going to have to work for it, Sonny. Just on board with Darren Wigan, got a bit of a run, we're going to be able to look down the inside, coming into the hairpin, who's going to break latest? We break, we lock up, we lock up, oh, Sven's going to go back past Shirley. But no, he backs out of it, I think, and lets Darren go past. So Darren up into fourth position. Mike Tanti just in front of us in third. You can see the other cars stream ahead. Morton and Harris run wide in the background. Darren takes a very wide line. That enables Sven to get alongside, but we're going to be on the outside. So no, Darren hardly keeps that fourth position for now. Chris Pinchback still holding off Fells, but some very quick people behind. Chris obviously quick himself too. We still with Deutschman and Harley. This is the big battle at the moment. Darren wants that position. And Sven wants it back. Filter down through all of the cars. There's Brian Larson running around after his spin earlier on. There's John Dowling, Nikos Papa Mahal, Dal Sivright. There's still Nick Curry. Matt Pony in second, Mike Tanti in third place. Aaron Harley fourth, Sven fifth, Chris sixth, Morton Vell seventh. On board with Morton, we've got Mark Harris right behind us. We struggling to get past Chris Pinchbeck. Maybe a bit of a bottleneck happening at the moment. I think Sven and Darren and Mike are slower than Chris, uh, Morton, Harris and Gavin Utley. But then maybe Chris is a bit slower than Morton and Harris behind him. So it's a bit of an interesting dynamic with this little group of cars. Gavin's not out of this. He wants to get past, back past Harris, up into sixth place, but not this time. He's flowing down through the order. Harris with a big wiggle out of the final corner, but Gavin's that up. Just a little bit of time. Morton again trying to look for a way past Chris Pinchback. Darren Harley running wide in front of us, pushing hard to get past Sven Deutschmann. It'll be interesting to see, actually, Darren Harley and Chris Pinchbeck are teammates, of course. But anything like that will come into play. Say Chris is probably the quicker of the two drivers. Darren just touches the grass a little bit on the inside. Switch through. Chris has got a run on Darren. Darren actually breaks a lot later. Holds on to that position, but Harris is alongside Morton. No, not this time. But it looked like Morton run a little bit wide. The ball might go past. No, he tucks him behind. Gavin Utley very, very close now. And that brings in Steve Proudly into play as well. Morton having another look down the inside. He is like a wasp all over the back of that number 43 Chris Pinchbeck Steel Series car. This is a gaggle and a half, guys. There's quite a few cars all together. Mike Tanti driving a very, very sensible race at the moment. We'll just stick the camera here and watch everybody go past. By saying that, it looks like Harris has got a bit of a run. He's up on the inside of Morton Vells. We're all going to have a look. Mark, little bump goes through. Oh. <coughs> I think Ali hit hit um, hit Morton there. I think Utley, seeing a little gap, tried to squeeze for it. And as that actually made contact with Morton Vells, unfortunately, as Brian Larson runs away a little bit again. Yes, yeah, a bit of damage on the front of Gavin Utley's car. In fact, let's get a replay of that and see what happened. So we've got... Harris has got a run on Vels, so he is alongside and past Vels before we even get to the corner. So we break. Utley tries to squeeze down the inside as well. Bumps into the back of Mark, but unfortunately hits the rear quarter panel of 
Morton spins round and Steve Proudly involved in that too, unfortunately. So Morton ending up behind even Stamatis. So that group has got a little bit smaller. It's Morton recovering, trying to get past Stamatis. That is one battered looking Porsche. But only four minutes to go, so not very long to go now. The group in front has got a little bit smaller, but I think the main thing to look for now, other than Morton trying to get past Demartis, is Harris is right up behind Pinchbeck now. Let's see if he can do what Morton couldn't quite do, try and find a way past. front end wash there from Morton through the last corner. Smite is actually getting a better run. Smoke in front of us. This is Darren Harley and Chris Pinchbeck in front of Harris for fourth, fifth and sixth. Oh, Darren run wide there. Let's see again what happened. Yeah, he did run wide. He understood off the circuit. And Harris and Pinchbeck say thank you, Darren. As does the Martis, and I think even Morton's going to get through. In fact, he does. So, that's given ha Harris a bit of an incentive to try and get past Darren's teammate here with Chris. Very, very close. This is Tanti, Deutschmann, Pinchbeck, Harris, second, third, fourth, fifth and sixth. Bit of a wiggle through the hairpin. He's lost a little bit of momentum. Good line though, using all of that outside curve. Carry extra momentum through the corners. Harris a bit of a feint to try to unsettle. Pinch back, but I don't think it'll work. So, about three, two or three laps to go, it'll be. As we start another lap. Again, scrolling back through the field, seeing what's going on. They carry on in his own. Matt Pony having a little lock up in second place. There's Tanti, there's Deutschmann, there's Pinchbeck. Pinchbeck and Harris are closing up. In fact, Pinchbeck's slow through turn one. I think he had to avoid Deutschmann, who was slow. And I think Mark Harris has sneaked. Has snuck up the inside. In fact, he has, yes. Pinchbeck not happy about that. Trying to get back past. In fact, this is... I think this is the final lap now. Deutsch will move a lock-up. Harris is going to have the momentum, I think. Yes, he is. Tucks into the slipstream. So what happened? Harris got past Pinchbeck. And Deutschmann seems to be slow. Harris looking down the inside into the hairpin. This is for... Fourth position, remembering Harris started 16th, 17th on the grid, so this will be great. This is one of the pinchback started 15th on the grid, so great drives from these two. And Harris again with the outside pass. Yes, he gets round Deutschmann. Pinchback trying to have a look as well. But focus away from that, we haven't seen much of him. Again, let's have a replay. Yeah, Deutschmann did lock up, and this is how. Harris got past Pinchbeck. Pinchbeck had to kind of avoid Deutschmann, who was slow. Yeah, let's see. On board with Chris Pinchbeck. We're coming into turn one. Deutschmann breaks. Locks up a bit. Yeah, Pinchbeck has to basically come to a stop. Harris reads it and goes around the outside. Wow, Pinchbeck had to change down gears and everything. But yeah, Nick Curry. Personal issues in race one meant that he finished last, I had to start from first in this race but he's going to come through and win clean drive just did what he had to do, fend off Sebo at the beginning and that was it So Nick Curry first Matt Powney second Mike Tanti with a brilliant third Harris fourth, then Deutschmann, then Pinchbeck then Vels very close to Pinchbeck in the end Stamatis, Dimitar Yanev Brian Larson Gavin Utley, 
and Nikos Papamihail. Followed by Steve Proudly and Daryl.